Hey lovely writers, this is Brooke and welcome to another episode of Writing Power Lesson Videos. In this video, I'm going to talk about three tools that you can use to write into the deep places. What does that even mean? So I've been getting this question a lot lately in my novel, Catch Light. There are some, there are a couple of intense scenes and I've had people ask me the question, how did you write that scene? Like, how did you go to the place where you were able to bring that out? And I've also had the question, were there any scenes that were hard to write? And if so, like, how did you kind of get into that mindset? I've had a few of my clients who work with me writing their own books who have been asking this question as well, right? So they, they've been avoiding certain scenes or topics that they know they want to write about and they're really deep and dark. And so there's this question of how do you go into these deep, sometimes dark places? So here are three tools that I use in my own writing. The purpose of these tools is to help you as a writer go all the way in to your topic, however deep and dark it might be, however dark the scene is, and then to come all the way back out, right? So that the, the darkness of the energy that you've been writing through isn't clinging to you like as you go about the rest of your day. Right? So the first tool is one that we're going to use at the beginning and then at the end of your writing time. And it is called the Repower Tool. The Repower Tool was developed by Dr. Valerie Rain, and she is a psychologist, a therapist, and she works a lot with mind-body tools for healing trauma. So particularly if you're writing about something traumatic, whether it's fictional or it actually happened, uh, this is a really helpful tool to ground you before you go in and then reground you when you come out. The Repower tool is really simple. It has three parts. So the first part is, so you're gonna sit down to write and you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna write on this deep, dark thing for you choose the time, 30 minutes, one hour. I would not do longer than an hour to start out. It could be 15 minutes, right? So whatever time increment feels good to you. The repower tool. Step one is you are going to notice gravity. So you're going to feel your feet where they are in contact with the floor. You're going to notice your body sitting in your chair. So feel your butt on the seat, like however you're sitting, if you're sitting cross-legged, however you're sitting, or I happen to be standing right now, you're gonna feel your body wherever it's in contact with what you're sitting on, right, or standing on. So I feel my feet standing in my shoes on the floor. That's step one. Step two is you are going to check in with all five senses. So you're going to look around you and see what's in the room around you make sure to look behind you because this literally signals to your hind brain like, oh, okay, we're safe. There's nobody, there's nobody back there. You're gonna check in with what can you hear? What can you smell? Can you taste anything? You can take a sip of water or coffee if you have it with you or take a bite of something you're eating. Um, and then touch. So you're going to actually like stroke your arms, stroke your arms, you can stroke your chest a little bit. Touch your face. This skin to skin contact actually releases a hormone called oxytocin, which is a relaxation hormone. So that's step two is you walk through each sense. Step three is you are going to notice your breath. You don't need to change your breath or breathe in any particular cadence. Just notice your breath coming in and out of your lungs. That's the repower tool. And it basically reminds you that you have a body, right? You are not just your brain. And it reminds you that in this moment, your body is physically safe. So you do the repower tool and then you go into your writing time. Set an, the, the second tool that I want to teach you is setting an intention. So as you begin writing, set an intention for whatever it is you want to accomplish. So my intention, especially when I'm writing like a deep or dark scene, is I want to write the truest and most beautiful story possible. 
And beautiful doesn't mean it's pretty or light. It means like it has that like beautiful truth to it, right? That raw power that is so beautiful when I encounter it in other people's writing. So you can create an intention <clears throat> that feels right to you. The intention might be, you know, I want to tell the truth. I want to write powerfully. Whatever intention you prefer, set your intention, and then you begin. So write through all of it. Lay it bare. Press into that dark place. If you need to, like, pretend to yourself like no one is ever going to read this, do that right? So don't like have your critic looking over your shoulder. Don't imagine like, what is my mom going to say? Don't think about like, what are people like, what are my friends or my coworkers like going to think of me when they read this? Like leave all those people outside the room. They're not allowed in here because you're the one that's writing into this deep place. When your timer goes off for the pre-arranged amount of time that you have said, stop. If you need to make a few notes for yourself, like don't forget to write about this, like pick up where this happened, like don't forget about X, like you can make a few notes, but don't write them, just make some notes. And then do the repower tool to come out again. So you close the document on your computer, you can like stand up and like shake out some of the energy and then repower again. So gravity, noticing your feet on the floor, noticing your body in the chair, Senses, looking around the room, what do you see, what do you smell, what do you hear, what do you taste? And then you can give yourself a little bit of this soothing action where you touch your face or you touch your arms. You're reminding yourself like whatever I just wrote, it's not happening to my body in this moment. And the third part of repower again is noticing your breath. So just notice your breath coming in and out of your body shake off any of the energy, and then go on to the next part of your day. Thanks for watching this writing power lesson video.